guys, welcome back. Today I have a new look haul for you guys. I've got some new prints, some things in the vegan leather. So if you wanna see what I've picked up, let's just go ahead and get started. So first up is the Tram Wallet in this vegan leather in this white color. I wanted to try the white color in the vegan leather and I thought I would try it on a smaller scale piece than one of the larger bags just because I have two small boys and so I don't know how dirty it would get. So I love this. I love how soft it is and it's a really good size wallet. Love all the quilting detail that's on it and it has a snap closure and it has two different snaps. So depending on how much stuff you have in here, whether or not you need to use this first snap or the second snap. So when you open it up, it has a really good clear plastic area right here and it has the lily gray on the inside of the white vegan leather. It has another card slot underneath it and then a long area right here for bills or anything like that. Same way over here, it has that long area. And it actually has two long areas on this side. So I like that. It has the one separate area over here, but then if you have bills or anything you wanna put here or receipts or anything like you like to put in here, then it has two different areas right here. All right, and then this says live, laugh, lug. And then you have eight credit card slots over here on this side. So this is really nice. It's gonna fit a lot of stuff in here. I love how soft it is. Then you have a zip and it doesn't just zip on the top, it zips all the way around to the side. So I like that because it has a really nice area where you can really get in there and get whatever you want. It's not a tight fitting if it was just zip to right here, then it would, still actually when you zip it just up to here it still has a good roomy area to open up to so love that and then it has a back zipper if you want to put any change or anything like that so the white has the lily gray interior and this is so soft i love this this is a great size i like this i'm excited about trying this out and testing this out and using this and since it's the vegan leather it does come with a little small dust bag i love that about it and then i guess since we're talking about vegan leather i'll just go ahead and show you the next vegan leather product i got and it's the pacer i was going to get this in the original fabrication because i just really like these little studs on here i'm so into the studded shoes and these have that same exact look so i really like this and i wanted to get it in this navy color I was debating on this or red just because I love to add a little bit of pop of color with my outfits, but I decided on the navy, just a classic look. So I'm really excited about it because I like the contrasting pattern with this. I don't really like the plaid gray so much, so that's why I ultimately decided against the red one. So I like this navy because I love this contrasting print. So I've never had the pacer before, so this is gonna be a brand new bag. I'm gonna test it out, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do a video on it, but I didn't wanna do a first I didn't want to do a first review video on it. I actually wanted to try it out, wear it, and see how it packed and everything and how I liked it before I did a video on it. So that will be coming up in the next few weeks. I will do a video on this Pacer bag. So it comes with two different straps. And then it also comes with the same matching vegan leather navy in the shorter. So this is a shorter strap, and this will be your longer strap that it looks like it's adjustable. So it's adjustable for crossbody style if you wanna do it this way. And I believe that this one is just for shoulder bags. So if you want the le the vegan leather option, it's just for a shoulder bag. But if you want the crossbody option, then you can do it in print. Love the studding detail on the front of it. That is so beautiful. And then it just has a little magnetic close right there. And then it has a really good area right here that has that lining on the inside. And then you have this zipper area on the back, which is tonal. So it looks like all the zippers on this are gonna be tonal, no gun metal. The zipper pulls are gun metal, but the actual zippers themselves are tonal. So that is a nice feature. And then you have this really good roomy area on the inside right here. Really nice compartment in the front. Then you have your magnetic clothes, felt lined in this pretty royal color right behind that. And let's just go ahead to go to the back. Zipper in the back. And, oh, it has a built-in wallet in the back of this. So that is a surprise. And it says, believe in yourself. So that's really nice. So if anybody needed that today, believe in yourself today. If you're having a bad day, just believe in yourself. So it has this clear little pocket right here, license. And then let me see, it has, it looks like three credit card slots underneath there. So it has your little built-in wallet, nothing for large bills or anything like that. So just something for, credit cards or your driver's license here in the back, but it is a really roomy area in the back, so that's really nice. And then in the main part right here, when you zip that out, let's just see what all it has in here. So it has two cargo pockets in the back, privacy zipper back here, and then in the front, it has your little clear plastic area in the front so you can see anything that's in there and it's nice and wipeable and you don't have to worry about anything leaking out. 
it does have a bungee key leash in here. So you can see inside that really pretty lining. And this also came with a nice dust cover bag as well. So this I'm really excited to try out. It really is a really soft material. But I did notice when I opened this up, the white vegan leather wallet that I had, no smell whatsoever to it. But this one had a slight smell when I first opened it up. I've let it air out before I did this video and it doesn't have that smell now. So that's just something for, I'm not sure if everybody's bags are like this, but I noticed that the lighter color didn't have any smell to it at all. But this darker color did have a little slight scent whenever you first opened it up. But if you let it air out, that does go away. So it's not a permanent scent. I know sometimes with leather and with vegan leather, they can have some scent. So I did notice that the darker one did when I first opened it, but it did go away. So that's something in case you are contemplating plating getting this bag it may have a slight smell when you first get it but that does go away those are the two vegan leather products that i picked up so i'm really excited to try this and i really like it in this navy color it's going to be really good and versatile and classy looking and then next up i have the caboose so this is a new bag but it's not a new name for a bag because they have previously had the caboose but it was in like more of a baby bag style so this is a lunch bag and it's called the caboose it's in the herringbone aqua print i don't have anything in this print which i'm surprised because i love all of these colors especially this lighter color i love this lighter color so this is really pretty it's very pretty in person it's prettier in person than it is online or anything like that so love this print like i say this is the only thing i have in this print super nice has this really pretty quilting detail on the front of it. What I like about this is when you first look at it, it looks like a handbag. So it's really nice. It looks like a really nice handbag. So it's gonna be really stylish tote for you. So it does have the little handle if you wanna carry it this way. This has like that little rolled material right here. Nothing rubber gripped or anything like that. It's the same as the fabric, but it has a little bit of a rolled material right here. It also has a crossbody strap. So if you wanted to put it crossbody, it is adjustable. It's one of your thinner crossbody straps. But the way that this kind of clips on is different than what I'm used to. So it kind of has like, it slides out. So it will slide in here and kind of hook in there instead of being one of the little clasps that clasp in there. So that's different. And then also I noticed, so it's on this side in the front, but then when you cross it over, it goes to the back of the bag on this side. So it's the front of it's over here, which I like because it's not gonna make it topple over or anything like that because it's kind of a wider bag. So I do like that about it. It also has a trolley sleeve on the back, which I find very interesting. So this will be great to travel with if you are traveling and will have a carrying suitcase. That'd be great to put on top of that. Has this front zipper right here, which would be great for, here's the lining. If you can see inside the lining of this Herringbone Aqua, kind of like a little, looks like little flowers in here in that teal color. So this would be great if you wanted your utensils or something that doesn't need to be cool or anything like that. Great little snacks to put in the front or utensils or napkins or anything like that in the front so you don't have to worry about them being cold. And then there's another feature of this. You can unsnap the sides of this and then it makes it a little bit taller. So if you have some things that you might need a little bit more height on, this does make it a little bit taller. And then on the inside, it has that really nice insulated fabric and it's just one big, huge area where you can put lots of different things in here. And it's really kind of soft. It kind of feels squishy. It kind of feels like really squishy, like it has some kind of padding in it as well. But this is really super cute. I'm excited to try this. I have the chomper. I gotta be honest with you. The only reason I got the chomper was because I really liked it in that tropical fog print that I have, but I've never used the chomper. So I'm excited to try this one out. I just like the style of this one. I like the east-west orientation of this one a lot and how it looks really stylish. Next up is a bag that a lot of you all have mixed reviews on. I was super excited to get this because it's in that freestyle material. So it's the slider in the freestyle. And I have the original slider, which I absolutely love. I like, I like all the functioning of the original slider. So I was really excited to see it in the freestyle material because I absolutely love the packable backpack in the freestyle material. I like the meshy, squishy, I like the slouchy look. So I was really excited to see that they put it in another bag besides the packable backpack. But a lot of people say that it picks very easily with pets. I could see it picking real easily with a cat, a cat wanting to scratch or anything. I could see that probably happening with this material. I do have dogs. 
I can test it with some dogs to see if my dogs are gonna snag it or anything like that. But I really wanna try this out because I am super excited about this because I do like a slouchy look, I like a hobo style bag. So I'm really excited about this. And this is a new print that I have never received. It's in the diamond white. So really excited about this. New print, new fabrication. And so I'm really excited to try this out. So I'm gonna test it out for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna wear it out and see how I like it after a couple of weeks. And then I'm gonna do a review for you guys because I'm really excited about it, but I saw so many mixed reviews about this on Facebook. So I will give you my honest opinion after I try it out. Um, I do like structured bags, but I do like a slouchy lip too. So this is really a cute print. So I'm really, really excited about this for summer too in this white color. So we'll see how I'll see how clean I can keep this as well. So the slider has a really thick crossbody strap. So it's in a blue color to really complement the print on here. So I do like that. And then it has this front zipper part right here where you can put some things and then it has another zipper in the front. So I do really like that. There is no dedicated cell phone area, nothing felt lined or anything like that. The entire thing is made out of that freestyle material. Then the back has a really nice long and deep pocket as well. When you open up the middle of it, it does have cargo pockets. So it has these really nice stretchy cargo pockets right here on this side. And then it's just one big area. So I do not see any zippers or anything on the inside. So you have one big open area with two cargo pockets on the inside, a back zipper area, and two zippers on the front. So I'm really excited to try this. Oh, and over here on the side, it has a little bit of, this looks like a re little reinforced strap right here. So we'll see how that wears as well. I guess because of the material they needed to do that wherever you hook the crossbody to. So love this print. I'm really excited about this freestyle material because I did like, love it so much in the packable backpack. So we'll see after I wear this for a couple of weeks how I like it and I do want to give you a review on this and like I say it's going to always be an honest review. Nobody pays me anything to do these videos so these are just to help you out. If you're ready to purchase any new look products this is just really great to just get honest opinions on how this wears with somebody that has been using it. So I will definitely do that in a couple of weeks as well. And next up is the Apollo. I actually have a video already out on this which I can link down below. It's watching on my beach bag. I use this as a beach bag and love it. I'm in love with the Stars and Shells Navy print and so I was excited when they came out with these but it was really hard for me because I was trying to decide between this one or the little anchor one, the nautical navy one. But I, it ultimately went down to the lining in this and the fabrication. So this is more of the brushed material than the real shiny material. So that's what I liked about this one was the brushed material. I love this look right here. It's perfect beach bag, but of course, this is a great work bag and everything else too, travel bag. But I really like this for a beach bag. With this whole look right here, it just gave me beach vibes but the lining is so absolutely beautiful in this one. So I'm really glad that I went with this one over the nautical navy. And I really like this lining and I'm not sure, I'm really kind of hoping that even their future bags that are in the Stars and Shells Navy may have this lining on the inside or as someone suggested on Facebook, putting this as the outside of a bag. But that would be really pretty on the outside of a bag like the suggestion from Kristen was. So here is the Apollo. I used it as a beach bag. I will link that video down below of how I packed it as a beach bag, but it does have this felt lined area in the front and then in the back. It has a little zipper area right here in the back and it kind of comes down to my hands. And then you have another zipper area right here where you can put some things goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag and then you have this nice wide trolley sleeve right here. It does have rubber grips on the handles which is really really nice and it has a really good drop. It's really nice and comfortable on your shoulders and it has a good enough long enough drop for that. And it also could be used crossbody as well. On the inside it has those nice cargo pockets in the back. They're really nice and wide wider than your regular cargo pockets and then in the front it has that really nice zipper clear area and it goes from side to side but it does not go down to the bottom of the bag maybe about two-thirds of the way down on the back then you have this really nice roomy area in the side love this bag has the feet on the bottom so that's it for my newest lug haul i hope you enjoyed seeing this video if you want to see any specific reviews i am going to do a review on the 
freestyle slider after I use it for a little bit just to see how I do like it because I am excited about it. I love that material. I know a lot of people don't like that material, but I do like it and I do like that slouchy look. So I'm going to see how I like it after a couple of weeks. And then I'm also going to do a video on the pacer if y'all would like to see that after I wear it and see my honest review on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. So I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.